is how you create an interactive chart with check boxes. The first thing you have to do is to create a replica of your main data set table like this with empty data set. Next, I'm going to allocate some Boolean status here, which we're going to link it to a checkbox later on. Now, to populate this column here, you're going to say equal if this cell value, which is the Boolean stat, is true. I'm going to press F4 twice like this so that your column is variable and your row is fixed. If that statement is true, we're going to simply display the column value from our data set like this. And if it's not true, we're gonna just gonna display not a number like this and close parenthesis and hit enter. Now copy the same formula for all columns like this. Now if you change this to false, you can see that it will start to toggle away. I'm gonna set everything to true now. Next, you're gonna highlight the prep table here and press Alt F1 to drop a chart. Now if you were to simulate this to be false, you can see that it's already starting to take shape. And if you put back to true, the chart comes back. After that, just redesign your chart. I'm going to redesign my chart to look like this. When it's done, go to Developer tab. If Developer tab is not available, right click anywhere on the ribbon, Customize Ribbon, and make sure there's a check next to your developer and click OK. Once that's done, click on Developer, Insert under Form Control. You're going to select Checkbox and insert a checkbox here. Right click on the checkbox on the context menu, you're going to say edit text and delete the text right next to the checkbox like this. And after that, reposition your checkbox somewhere below your first series and press Ctrl C to copy the clipboard and start pasting it twice. Now to link your checkbox to the cell value here, right click on the first checkbox here, format control and this link cell, you're going to select this cell here, click OK. Now repeat the same process for the remaining two checkboxes. Once that's done, you're ready to test. Now, if you put a check next to your checkbox, you can see that the chart will be populated accordingly. Now, to hide this Boolean status, there's two ways to do it. One of them is to change the font color to white. Alternatively, you can also change the cell formatting like that. Press Ctrl-1 after selecting to it. And after go to, go to Number tab, Custom, you're going to put three semicolon like this and click on OK. And then the Boolean status is gone.